So, in case the whole thing breaks down, and I have a nervous breakdown, which would be great theater. I'm telling you, a great theater there. If Dorothy becomes overwhelmed with the questions and the responsibility and the weight of the whole thing and just comes apart at the seams. That, I think, people would pay for. Something particularly wonderful about this upcoming event, which is not a show called Ask Death, because we're keeping it simple, is we got swag, right? We got swag. We've never had swag before, and we're so, so very, very excited. We got the minions working in little cubby holes under the stairway and stuff, and uh, they don't mind. Please, they don't mind. Um, and we got swag. You look at the. I don't know if you see these, but these are these are skull earrings. These are made by minions in the high deserts of Arizona uh, for minerals carved out of the earth with old spoons. And we got the questions. Just look at this. It's just one show. Look at all those questions that people have asked, asked death. And they've gotten, well, I don't know if they've gotten answers, but there have been no complaints at all. No, well, people, they know not to ask for a refund because uh, they're, they're not going to get one. So why bother, right? But uh, be that as it may, I can say that nobody has asked for a refund or an apology or anything like that even though it has stretched me to the very boundaries of sanity. I mean, the responsibility, right? The weight. The weight. Is this really theater? What is theater? Is theater really an ancient form of magic? And is it a magic event designed to invoke? Oh, I think so. So I was going to say, maybe this isn't really theater. But I think in the ancient magical sense, yeah. <laughs>